half time. <clears throat> Alright guys, so, so we hopped into this game of safeguard a little late, but we're gonna give it a go here. I want to continue on with my video from yesterday. We talked about the ICR. Today we're gonna talk about the HVK. So the HVA HVK30. If I can spit that out. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm using a different microphone today. I've had the Snowball for quite a while. I just haven't had, I just haven't been able to set it up correctly. And it seems like I've finally figured it out. So, um, it's going to sound a little different microphone wise, but I think overall the audio is going to sound a lot better. I don't think the microphone is going to interfere with the game audio and I will lose some of that game audio delay that I sometimes get. So... I'm hoping it sounds better for you guys. Let me know. So today we're going to be talking about the HVK-30, uh, continuing on from yesterday's assault rifle buff. Um, on this gun, they also increased. Oh man, they also increased the long range damage, and uh, so far it's feeling really nice. I mean, they didn't change the recoil at all. It seems I don't think it got better. I don't think it got worse, but it's never really been a bad assault rifle as far as recoil goes. I can definitely feel the buff on the long range damage on this gun. And so far it seems like a lot of fun to use. It's quick, takes them down fast, um, shoots really smooth, and the camo is just to die for. Come on. So yeah, I don't know if you've really noticed the buffs in this game. It was the Shiva, the ICR, the HVK-30, and the KN44. Um, the only two guns that I really noticed a huge difference is this gun, the HVK30, and the ICR. That's why I wanted to do videos on both these guns. So far it seems really nice. I mean, I might even change up some classes to put these guns in regular rotation in uh, s and and also the respawns. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> that guy just blew himself up. Let's go. And also, I'm going to give a short plug. I have one of my sponsors is Cinch Gamings, and they make controllers that are similar to others. Instead of having the paddles on the back of the controller, they have buttons. And I like that. I've, I've had a scuff, and I like it. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I just think the paddles felt a little weird, a little awkward to hold. The uh, thing about the Cinch Gaming is with the buttons, it's more of a natural feel, and I really like it. So when I... I mash the buttons anyways, and I, I grip harder when I get into gunfights. And so when I get into gunfights, it's almost a natural jump shots or drop shots or any reaction that I use the buttons for. It just, everything seems natural, and I'm really liking it. I've had it for about, well, ever since the game came out. Uh, the first controller I got, it had a quirk with the jump button, um, but... I emailed them, I sent it back, and they took care of me. They were really nice. Uh, the service department was very helpful, and they got my controller back to me just a day or two after the game came out. So uh, thank you to them for that, and uh, thank you for their support on my channel. If you are interested in checking out the controllers, they're completely customizable. Um, get a hold of uh, cinchgaming.com and type in Red Flyboy for 5% off. So enough with the plug, we're going to get back into watching this HVK-30 slay some kids out. Enemy robot there we go. Let's go, baby. Oh, I thought that got that last kill. So I noticed a huge difference with the HVK. I'm completely happy with it. I suggest you guys try it out. The ICR, I enjoyed it, but certainly not as much as the HVK. So completely happy with that. Our, uh, I might play another round. Let's go ahead and play another round with it. I was going to end the video there, but I think... Uh, as well as we're playing, we're going to keep going. So, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think of the buffs. If you're even interested in these two guns, some people just don't like the way they shoot, they don't like the way they handle. <clears throat> and that's understandable because I didn't really use them either until the buffs came out. I wanted to give them a try. So, uh, huge difference, huge difference. Get Cinch Jump, baby. Oh, let's go. Safeguard's interesting. I don't play a whole lot of it. It kind of reminds me of a moving hard point. <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. Warning, 
Let's go, baby. Not bad, 31 and 13. I love it. This is a medium-sized map, and I was using a <clears throat> an AR HVK30 on this, and it seemed to do re really well, no matter what situation I was in. So happy with it. There's the buff video for the HVK. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out my channel, and we'll talk to you guys later.